Well, hello there, lovely people of YouTube. If you hear any noises in the background, that would be the dishwasher going, and slush, or the furnace. It is so cold in this house right now that I look like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I don't know, it was so nice outside, so we opened up all the windows, and the house has not warmed up since. So I just put the heating on, I have a blanket around me, I'm in like the sweater, and I'm nice and cozy, and we're gonna get started on the video. I am not wearing any makeup right now, as you can clearly see, because I'm filming an updated foundation routine, but not just my foundation. See that noise? You just heard it? That's a dishwasher. It's on the rinse cycle. So when I mean foundation, I'm not just talking about only my foundation, also my powder and also like my bronzer because it's products that I've been using every single day. So I've gotten quite like a routine down packed. So I just want to show you the products I've been using and how I've been using them. So we're just going to get started on that. So disclaimer before I actually get started with the video, I did get henna done for an event at Pharma Pre. It's pretty much fading off of the back of my hand, but on the palm of my hand, it's much more pigmented and much more orange because my hand like heated it up. Um, so it went on much more orange and it's fading away now. So that's why it looks kind of weird. You're gonna see it when I'm applying my makeup in the video. So I'm just warning you now so you're not wondering what the heck is on her hand. So first things first, I'm gonna prime my face using the Smashbox Primer Oil. So I did a, an entire video talking about this, so I will link it down below for you guys. It is best to apply this with your fingers. It just absorbs into the skin so much better. It's, there's no need to use a brush. See, the minute I start touching my face, I just turn pink. Now with this kind of primer, because it is an oil, you have to just wait a few minutes for it to soak into the skin before you go and apply your foundation. This is really gonna help your foundation just glide on effortlessly, but if you have the oil still on the surface of your skin, your foundation isn't going to stay. It's kind of just gonna float there rather than sticking to your skin. So this is where I would go when I would like pluck my eyebrows or I take out the products I'm gonna use for my face or I'll like go on Instagram or something. Oh. That's my, that's my screen. Are we cute? That's me and my boyfriend, Jesse. Come back, come back. Oh, we're kissing. Oh, so cute, so cheesy. I love it, I'm a total cheese ball. Since we're waiting for it to absorb into my face and we're showing pictures, that's me and Jesse at the regimental ball. Aren't we cute? Oh, so cute. <laughs> He'd be rolling his eyes right now, but he doesn't watch my videos anyway, so he'll never even know. My makeup and hair was so on point that day, and I wanted to film like a get ready with me, get ready with me for the ball Cinderella style kind of video, and it was, ugh, it was just a crazy day. There was no way in hell that I was going to be able to do my hair on camera and my face on camera. It was just way too crazy. We almost got there late to begin with. So I think that's enough chatting. The primer has absorbed enough into my skin that we can get started on the foundation. I'm a huge fan of CoverFX foundations. Uh, this one here is the Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation. I know I just applied oil on my face, um, and now I'm going to use an oil free foundation. It don't matter. Um, this foundation here, it's like, oh, it doesn't say on it. It says it on the box. It's like vegan friendly, it's gluten free, it's paraben free, it's mineral oil free. It's a really healthy foundation for people who are conscious of what's in and what's not in their makeup. Not to mention it has an insane amount of coverage. Being quite the chatty Kathy today, we're just gonna go ahead and apply it. So I like to apply a little bit of this to the back of my hand. You don't need that much. And then I like to take my Lise Witte Perfecting Foundation Brush. This thing is awesome. I sounded like a robot. So I just put it on and then I just start stippling it in. And I should probably have a mirror in front of me. That would probably help a little bit. So I stipple it in. Just smooths everything out beautifully. Cover this red ass nose. Personally, I don't apply foundation to my eye contour area, especially since this is a more full coverage foundation. It's a little thicker and I don't like to add layers under my eyes. My concealer does it for me. I don't want to add something else that's going to possibly crease. So I avoid my eye area. If some gets around it, that's fine, but I don't go and apply product directly to there. Also a little tip is that when you're applying a foundation onto your face, you don't get any harsh lines along your jaw. I like to just take whatever's on my brush and just kind of bring it down a little bit. So not all the way down, that's not necessary, but just you just 
bring it a little bit down so you don't have any like weird lines going on my camera's making my neck and my face look not the same color but they are in person so it's weird I do spend a little bit of time on my foundation because I want it to look flawless so if I spend more time on my foundation I can spend less time on the rest of my face because then I feel like at least my skin looks even so now that my foundation's been applied if I have any imperfections any redness any pimples anything like that I like to take the Boeing concealer and uh, just go over it so I just dip my fingers in and I might put this like around my nose where I often get red. And then just blend it out with that same brush. As for my under eyes, I really like the Clarins Instant Concealer in the shade 1. So once again, I just applied some to the back of my hand. And I'm taking just like a mini beauty blender. It's not a real beauty blender, it's a fake. So I like to dab the concealer just underneath my eyes, like that, and then I take the little beauty blender brush and I go in with it. This concealer is super reflective, it's definitely not a matte finish, which isn't a bad thing, but you can see that it's like shiny and it does do that in person too, it's not only on camera, so I always like to set this. What I do like to use under my eyes to set is the uh, Clarins Poudre Multi Eclat. So this is a mineral loose powder and it comes only in like this one shade which is like this translucent and it's a brightening loose powder. There's not shimmer in it but it does have little like light reflecting particles. You just want to make sure before setting that everything is smoothed out and then I use my beauty blender and I bake. That's the new technique, right? I dab it under my eyes. I instantly feel it like setting. I also like to do down the nose. Anywhere that I might highlight. Just with what's left on the beauty blender. The whole point of this is it's called baking so people wait. I don't wait. I brush it off right away. I have dry like dehydrated under eyes. So I don't like to have a powder like setting there for too long. Now that my under eyes are set, I go in with my Cover FX Pressed Mineral Foundation in the shade N20. So this is a little bit more neutral, so a little bit less yellow than the foundation. And I just use a brush like this. And it gives me more coverage because this isn't just a pressed powder. This is a foundation powder. So you could use only this if you chose. So choose. Then I like to spray my face with the NYX Dewy Setting Spray because I don't like a fully matte look. But the products that I use do give me that matte look. So I want to bring some life and dewiness back into my face. And I have been doing the same thing every day for bronzing and whatnot, so I'm going to show you that as well. I have been in love with this Benefit Cheekathon palette, which is launching in Canada the first week of May. Um, so you can get it, I believe, at Sephora and definitely at Shoppers Drug Marts and Pharma Free. It's gorgeous. I got my hands on it early. Lucky me. Um, so this is what it looks like inside. I wanted to do a video. I wanted to do a video exclusively on this, but I decided not to since they're all um, shades that exist already. And they are all full size. So it comes with Dandelion, Hula, Rocketeur, Dallas, Coralista, and then a little mini brush, which I don't use. And when you're actually done with all the blushes inside, which is like never going to happen, this comes out and you have an adorable little box. So anyways, I've been reaching for this every day. I do have Hula in the full size, but because I've been using these blushes, I just take out the palette. And I take this super small little brush and I dip it into my Hula. Tap off some of the excess. And I go right in where my cheekbones are to define. Now to bronze my face, I also use Hula, but I'm using this. It was a limited edition brush from Lise Witsi, so it's curved like that. With Hula, and I make sure there's not too much on there. I just sculpt my cheeks.
now my bronzer has been applied, I have a little bit more life in my face and it's time for whatever blush and highlight I choose that day. Today I'm feeling Coralista so I'm going to go ahead and pop that on my cheeks. As for my highlight, I'm using the NYX Strobe of Genius palette which I actually have a video on as well and I'll be taking this highlight right here. And then I would normally go ahead and I'd apply my eyeshadow and the rest of my face products and then I'd spray myself again with the dewy spray from NYX. And that's pretty much it. I know I'm missing my brows, my eyes, my lips, but this is my foundation and my face on a day-to-day -day basis. Thanks so much for watching and let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see me upload and I'll see you next time. Bye!